it looked like a false start. It looked like down in lane two, it might have been Richard Thompson. And I think my countryman, Richard Thompson, will be having a seat with us in the stands. Another false start, and that one at the top of your screen. Well, I think we're going to make up for the no one getting thrown out of Prefontaine and just continue to throw people out of this race. Um, wow. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never seen anything like it. This almost looks like the Atlanta 1996 final, or perhaps the 2003 John Drum and I did not move episode. Wow. And a fair start, middle of the track. Mullings out nicely. Mullings with a big lead. Here comes Tyson Gabe, and it's going to be Steve Mullings. Does Gabe get him a photo finish? I don't know. I think Mullings might have got him, and I told you Tyson Gabe was going to have his hands full with the way Mullings has been starting. Mullings was gone. Here's a look at the finish again. See if we can see who got it. I think Mullings may have got it, but wow. In keeping with our theme of close finishes here in New York, this one is simply too close to call. I think Mullings got it. Talk about needing some patience. Tyson Gay, how can you explain what you just went through down there? Three false starts and then that rumble down the track. Yeah, it was a little difficult. The a little start, difficult? Yeah, the head the headwind, the false starts, you just had to keep refocusing. You know, I just think we have to do something about this rule. What do you want to, uh, how would you like to see the rule changed? Maybe if it goes back to last year, maybe, but there was guys trying to protest, they weren't allowed to run, so the rules need to be a little bit more clearer. Now, going back to after the gun, did go off and you had a fair run down the track. It looked like you had a slow start. Take us from there and how you closed at the end. Yeah, um, I knew my teammate was going to get out fast, but I haven't been able really to do starts and a lot of speed and stuff like that, so it just took me a while to get going. Steve Mullings, your training partner here from Jamaica, step in here. It was an incredible run. First of all, how did you survive the three false starts there before you finally got to come down the track? Well, uh, I didn't let it bother me. I mean, it was rough, but uh, I was just trying to focus on working on my first 30, and that's about it. Take me through the last 10, because you had an incredible close there. Yeah, uh, I know Tyson going to be coming, and uh, I was just trying to hold on. I was trying to hold on for my life, and Tyson was coming after me hard. Now, I'm wondering something. Here's a huge rivalry between Jamaica and the United States as we approach the World Championships. How in the world do you guys train together and get along like you do? Well, uh, for for one, me and Tyson, we, we, we like brothers, man. And uh, uh, we've been that way since junior college. And that's what we're going to be. I don't care what nobody say. And Tyson, I know you've already said you want to put America on your back and return sprinting to the top for the United States. How do you plan on doing that? And you've got somebody, you got an enemy in the camp, don't you? Yeah, it's a, we have a rivalry inside the camp now, you know? So um, it's all good. I'm still just going to work hard and hope America follows me. All right, guys, thanks a lot.